Hi everyone, welcome to WP Brim. Today in this video training, I'm just going to show you how you can create a modern and beautiful coming soon page for your WordPress website. Well friends, during the development of your website, you can show a coming soon page for your visitors to know when you are going to be live. Well, I'm going to access my WordPress dashboard to create this coming soon page. Here it is the dashboard of WordPress website and I'm just going to navigate to plugins and I'm just going to click on add new to install a plugin. I'm just going to search for a plugin. The name is site offline and here it is site offline or coming soon or maintenance mode by Sandra Shekhar and I'm just going to click on install now button. and click activate and here you can see this plugin is activated site offline i'm just going to click on this menu site offline and here goes the plugin dashboard i'm just going to scroll down and here goes our working space here we will configure this plugin to create a beautiful coming soon face like this. Okay, so let's start with the first option. It is the dashboard as we can see. And under the dashboard here you can see enable site offline mode. Here you can see my site is under coming soon mode or maintenance mode. So to do that, we need to just click this radio button, enable site offline mode. Okay, that's it. Now my website is live. I'm just going to show you in a different browser. I'm just going to open up Brave browser. Okay, friends, here it is. So I'm just going to get back to Google Chrome and site offline. And site offline. Okay, here I have enabled the site offline mode. So again, I'm going to scroll down, and here goes the save settings. I'm just going to click on it. I'm just going to remove the caches. Okay, again, if I go over here and reload this page, and here goes it the site is offline. And I need to change the logo, text, and set the time countdown, etc. Okay, so get back here and scroll down. And second option is the logo. So I'm just going to upload a logo. And before I do that, friends, I have provided a link in the video description to download the background image, Fabicon image, and logo image. So check the link in the description and go over to this google drive and click on this download all button all the files will be downloaded okay that's it so i'm just going to it has been downloaded i'm just going to click here upload emails and i don't have mass images so i'm going to click on here select file under upload files I'm just going to get back. Here it is, logo. Click open and hit insert into post. Okay, logo has been uploaded. And do you want to display logo? Yes, of course. So, yes, is selected. And site offline headline. Here we have a headline that is coming soon or we can write we are coming soon. Okay, I'm just going to copy this text. Okay. Coming soon. And here goes the offline description. I have just a single line. We are making something amazing for you.
So friends, we could successfully complete the dashboard section. We have some other sections. So I'm just going to hit save settings. And once again, I'm just going to see the preview. Here it is coming soon. And here goes our logo. And it's our time to go to the next section. Here I am on the dashboard once again. I'm going to minimize it and here goes SEO section okay and Fabicon icon here you can see a nice beautiful Fabicon so I'm just going to upload Fabicon upload files select files Fabicon and site title SEO title coming soon And this will be shown here. Okay, I don't think we need to put any description. And another important thing, if you if you have connected your site to Google Analytics, you can enter the script here. Okay, I'm just going to save the settings. So click on this button. That's good. Again, let's see the preview. Here you can see site offline. I'm just going to reload. And yeah, now it is coming soon. Amazing. Okay, so now let's see the design section. Here it is. I'm just going to click over here. Okay. So the first option is what type of background do you like? You can select a solid color. If I click on here, you can select a solid color from here. Any color. Okay. So I'm just going to use background image. So click on this radio button. And now from here, I'm just going to upload an image. You will get all the images through the Google Drive. I have provided the link in the description. Okay, the background image is uploaded. I'm just going to click here, insert into post. And here you can see the background image is selected. And below here you can see headline color. And for all of our text, we have used solid white color. And luckily, here the solid colors are selected by default. But if you would like to change the color, just click over here and you can choose any color. Or you can manually type the code of the color here. So I'm just going to click select default. So you can see the white color is selected. It is selected for the description. But if you would like to make your description black, then select here and it is black, countdown, red, okay, and the social icon, blue, okay. And here you can see the headline font size. I have just set 100 pixel for this font. So heading font 100 pixel just move this slider to the left or right and description font size 18 pixel and here goes the font family i have set open sense just click over here and from the select box select open sense and if you have any custom css code you can paste here so finally i'm just going to Hit save settings. Just click on it and go over here. And here you can see very bad colors. So, what I can do, get back to the dashboard again. 
I'm just going to click over here and reset all the colors. I showed you how you can do that. Reset the color. Reset the color to default white color. Hit save settings once again. Okay. So now it's time for the another section. I'm just going to get back, close it, and now this section, countdown. Click over here and enable countdown. And here goes the end date, the final date your site will be live. I'm just going to click over here and it shows a calendar. And say for example, I'm going to live it next month, July 31. Hit save settings. Well, here you can see it shows the time countdown. Pretty fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, again, get back to the dashboard. And now I'm going to uh, just configure the social setting. Click over here. And here goes the Facebook page handler, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. Okay, just here you enter your Facebook page URL. I'm just going to type enter Facebook, enter Twitter. Okay, so that's it. I'm just going to hit settings. I'm just going to hit save settings. Get back. Now, if I hover over here, it shows the URL on the bottom left. Okay, the last section, it is contact info. I'm just going to click over here and here you can type your address. Contact information. And email address. Okay, so I'm just going to hit save settings. Click close and refresh here it is so i could finally show you how you can create a coming soon page okay friends now let's see what if the admin is locked in then you can see it shows the website not the coming soon page here i have logged in as an admin that's why on this browser it doesn't show up to see the progress what I will have to do I have to copy the link of the site and open it on a different browser now it shows coming soon page and if you would like to access your website just after the domain name awp hyphen admin Okay, now you can log in. And another thing is, if you would like to disable the coming soon, what you will do, just go over here and under the dashboard, just click over here, disable, and hit save settings. Now this will be disabled. I'm just going to refresh here. 
and it shows the actual website. So friends, I hope I could show you how you can create and display a coming soon page on your WordPress website. I believe this video was helpful for you. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to get more videos like this. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again in a new video.